All right, but you know, how? It's a what's, house bed. What's the longest period of time you can ha, that can have passed before the pill's effective? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Well, Four days, up to five days, really. Five? You're supposed to take it within three days, but some people have suggested you can take it up to five. So go get it right now, Kelly. You had sex on Friday, for God's sakes. Come on. Kelly? Yeah. Kelly, you're 20, yet you seem like you're having difficulty tracking. <laughs> Are you okay? Junior college, by the way? Uh, Four years. Four years of junior college? No, I'm not a four-year college. Uh, Which one? Northridge. What? Uh, no, Fullerton. 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 All right. You're lucky I don't know enough to know what a horrible college that probably is. Cal State Northridge? Cal State Fullerton. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's bad. Yeah, Tom... Tom... Uh, Tom uh, scoffs at you, by the way. Yeah, it's no Berkeley. He's from MIT. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, all right, so Kelly, go get that morning after pill, would you? Okay. And, and what wait, you, wait, what do, you, what do you mean, okay? No, you, no, don't you, do you, it. The, okay. Every second goes by, the effectiveness wears off. You have up to 72 hours, maybe up to five days to get some effect, but the best effect is the soonest after the intercourse, okay? So There's basically, if I took it, okay, <laughs> Friday, like, so like we did it Friday midnight, um, I basically, I like, from from midnight that Friday night for like three days till like then, like basically? I don't know how to answer that, Kelly, like except yeah. by repeating... So no, no, listen, here, Friday. let me tell you, let me tell you uh, Kelly's uh, hypothesis. It's 72 hours from the last time you had sex, so if she can just keep getting nailed, this could go on for infinity. <laughs> you see, I mean, she could be in her 90s Every getting nailed. Every 72 hours. Yeah. Every uh, seven. Yeah, so you know, her thing is like, well, I got the last Friday, time I Saturday, see. and Sunday, so it should be 72 hours from today. Right. Or she's saying... Does it have to be taken at 72 hours? At 72 hours <laughs> from the time That would be awesome took... if that's what she was saying. It's just like pushing the reset button. Wait, let's ask That's her. right. Let's she ask never... Her. Come you, on. You think you're going to get that out of her? Let's see. You're not going to get okay, that out of her. Let me make sure she understands. Okay, Kelly, first of all, you with me? Yes. All right, it's so a phone number I want you to write down. 1-888. She doesn't have a pen. You have a pen? She's writing with the kissing potion on the side right, of a pump. 1-888, not too late. Not too not late. Not too late. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. So number two, and the number two, not too late, and they will refer you to a pharmacy that will give you the pill tonight without a without a prescription. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you understand that its effectiveness wears off and approaches zero after seventy two hours? So the okay. sooner you get it, the better. Okay. Take the pill now. What was it you thought? It, how was it you thought it worked? Okay. Well, this, I basically thought like they, you had it for like five days, like. Like, from the first time you had sex, like, when you first had intercourse, like, the first time, mm -hmm. so, like, five days after that, like, you have it till five days, like, like, the morning after pill. All right. You have up to three days, but the effectiveness is at its least, at its nadir, the lowest, the longer you wait. Um. All right. So, you just, uh... You Go take, get it now. You're 48 hours. You're 40 hours. You have about, you get about 70% effectiveness now, maybe 80 Okay. Did you really expect, by the way, to uh, go to Havasu and stay on a houseboat and not uh, get laid? <laughs> I wasn't really expecting it. Why would you? Why but would this he? Is, this is the thing. Why would do this you two go to? Uh, why would you go to Lake Havasu and not? What? What do you think he's there for? Um, it was just like a, it's just like a getaway. And like, not it wasn't supposed to be anything like that. Like, I don't know. Just Kelly, let's just know. one, one, not, not one word you, of wasn't. advice. One word of advice. Males brains do not work like yours. Get away. Not many brains. Let me tell you, let me tell you the getaway. I'm gonna get my semen away from my nutsack. Yeah. That's the kind I'm of getaway. Get away with, I'm gonna get away with nailing this chick. That's what that is. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> get away. <laughs> just sort of stretch his wings a little. Yeah, I know. Guy guys, you guys don't you don't leave town with a girl. See, I, I'm beginning to think that some of this stuff about women not preparing for birth control is not just denial. It's they literally don't understand how males think. So, so, so I surprised them. So, you you want to have sex? Oh, oh, I guess so. Okay. So, well, okay. Here's the thing with the uh, human beings. Take note, Tom. <laughs> you think <clears throat> when there's a food you love, everyone loves it. You order it for That's the party. Right. That's you right. can't imagine cashews, they don't like Adam. It. Cashews. I love cashews. And I think can't about imagine. your buddies that don't yeah, like them. Yeah, but no, it's like, oh, uh, give me uh, thirty uh, pizzas with anchovies. I can't imagine anyone doesn't like anchovies and pizza. And you're you're shocked and mortified when you find out somebody right. just cannot stand it. Right. Okay. And, by the way, next time you're still mm -hmm. ordering the anchovies. 
Right. So the young lady says, uh, well, we're going to have a suit on wine and relax. We're doesn't, just sex doesn't occur to her. Reconnect emotionally. Yeah. There's not going to be anything physical. And the guy says, oh, yeah, yeah, that's well, what we're going. She's not even thinking physical or not physical. It's like, what? what? doesn't even occur to her. Doesn't yeah, but, her. but if somebody said to you, even like you, your favorite food, and you said, oh, don't, don't you love the uh, pasta fazool? And yeah. I went, oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You wouldn't argue with me. Right, you'd just right. order it up, and right. then you'd find out later, I'd. I was humping you with right. it, <laughs> raping you with a uh, soup ladle. <laughs> Trying to follow. Yeah. All right, let's take a break. Yeah, we need a break. Tom Burbine is uh, here. Tom is a uh, new, but yet dear, 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 dear friend. Already a dear, dear, dear friend. He uh, generously uh, donated uh, 15 large to the uh, Tsunami Relief Fund, which could be caused when one of his, uh, probably asteroid with his name on it, yeah. crashes into the Indian Ocean. It'd be yeah. awesome if your asteroid took yeah. out yeah. several hundred thousand yeah, I'd be, I'd probably coastal the, people. I'd be on the cover of the USA Today, Newsweek, Time. Oh, you'd definitely be brought up on charges, <laughs> like when your dog... You know, somebody. Yeah, when he mauls some, the mailman, it's your fault. When your asteroid uh, takes out a village, you're screwed. All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back after this. Hey, everybody. Love line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Tom Burbine is in here. Tom is a, uh, uh, he's a teacher, professor. He uh, donated. Uh, teacher, he's, he got, he's got it wired. He teaches an all-girls school. Fifteen thousand right. dollars to the uh, tsunami relief fund, and that uh, got him on here. And uh, we would have liked to have Tom anyway. Yes. Oh, thank you. I take yeah. it as the highest compliment. This uh, is the greatest day of my whole life. And, uh, <laughs> no, no, don't say that. <laughs> yeah. And the problem is, I think anything that ever happens to me will pale in comparison. Birth of my uh, of a child, uh, getting married. I'm a little true. worried. It's true. We yeah, have to it's, be it's, it's, it's all going to be a, a fast free fall after you leave the studio. Tom has uh, made the pilgrimage from where, exactly? S South Hadley, uh, Massachusetts. I live right next to Mount Holyoke College. And uh, you teach at? Uh, UMass Amherst. So I teach a... Uh, one going to start in the fall. A, a teaching class in Mount Holyoke, a class in asteroids in the fall. But this semester, I'm teaching a class in astronomy, astronomy 100, just basic information for a class of 300 UMass Amherst students. I was just mm -hmm. telling a little known fact that I played John Proctor in the Crucible at Mount Holyoke College in 1977. Yeah. 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 That's on like three-quarter tape somewhere. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody ever taped it. It was a really? the theatrical thing. Yeah, they should, they should film. You know, there are the nerds from the AV club out just looking for excuses to bust out 1977, the... 1977, uh, a video no, camera? I mean, no, they had, had, had one the size of a... a yeah, Winnebago, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, awesome. It's so one, you know, Bob Crane used to use, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, making his videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All go. right, so uh, Tom is uh, here uh, hanging out. We had uh, dinner with Tom and his uh, lovely life partner, no. Kevin. No, no, no uh, they're, me, they're me, straight. Yeah, yeah, me and Kevin have a bet who can get the uh, lightest girlfriend, so pretty much if, if you date another guy, you would lose the bet, so... Uh, Oh, I see. So we stay heterosexual that way. <laughs> yeah, they're both uh, both geniuses. Both geniuses. Now, Tom it? brought in the New York Minute for Adam. Are you going to watch this? Yeah, absolutely. Seriously? Absolutely. It, you heard him. Yeah, yeah. It is, I don't believe it. No, it is funny. You'll get a lot of enjoyment out of watching it. Not necessarily the way it was intended. N maybe no, not. Okay. And they actually, it's kind of high budget. They have, like, split screens. I know, I know. And it's, 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 it's no, not it was, like a TV movie. It's a it real was, movie. It's a big deal, yeah. No, it was uh, Drew plays uh, the father of the yeah. Olsen twins yeah. on it. Yeah. Stephanie? And what are you yeah. going to say, Tom? I'm, He's going to say something. Oh, nah, I could feel it coming. Better, better he doesn't. <laughs> Stephanie? Yeah. You're 18? Yeah, well, I'll be 18 tomorrow. All right. Well, happy birthday. What's up? Um, Because me and my mom, we haven't talked for a long time because um, she might kick me out when I was 14. And, Why? Um, Why'd she kick you out? A lot of reasons. Give me one. Because um, I didn't like my stepdad. Okay. All right. Um, I didn't like him because he's a very bad man. He was his my little brother. Bless your little brother. I, I have no doubt that you're absolutely right, but go ahead. Um, so she kicked me out, and I've been on my own for a long time. And um, my birthday's coming up, and I was wondering, like, if I should call her or... I'm not sure, because mm. me and my mom have been having problems for a long time. All right, how do you support yourself? How do you support yourself now? How do you how do you live? How? Um, off of other people. <laughs> do you go to school? No. no. Do you work? No. No, she she mm. like panhandles, right? <laughs> are you are you prostituting yourself or something?